Hey y'all, it's Steve, Hobo with Wood. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my gift card holder for coffee gift cards. This can be used for Mother's Day, Teacher Appreciation Day, and this file will be available for free on the Laser Makers Realm. So stay tuned. So this is a really simple and very easy file and an easy to assemble project. There's no fingers, no tabs, nothing you need to resize, and it's it goes together really quick. The possibilities are endless from as far as what you put your engravings on there. Like I said, it's Mother's Day, tired as a mother. Uh, teacher Appreciation Day, uh, Pastor Appreciation Day, uh, you, you name it, uh, whatever you want to do. This is uh, for uh, rescue workers. First I drink a coffee, then I save the lives. The, the artwork is unlimited, you can do whatever you want. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to design this yourself. And what you can learn from this is, and, and these, the techniques you can you take these and implement them in any type of creation you want to put. Uh, or you can just stop watching this video, wait for the video to come out on Laser Maker Realm, download the file for free, you don't care how it was done, and you can just start making money with them. <clears throat> but I think the ones that have just checked out, we didn't want them here no way. This video, I'm going to go over the hows, the whys, the perspectives, what I'm looking for. We're going to create this from scratch, and uh, hopefully you'll learn a thing or two, and it'll be worth your time, and in, and in turn, your watching will make it worth my time. <laughs> so uh, let's jump in here to Lightburn. But before we do that, though, let's talk about perspective for just a second. And if you look at this file, look at this image. <clears throat> I'm going to lose the gift card here. If you look at the the lid, the lid has a little curvature up and the bottom has a little curve down. That's perspective as far as w from where I'm looking at the design of this or this cup when I'm doing the design. I was kind of focused like there's my center so the lid's curved up and the bottom curved down. So if I take an actual cup here in front of the camera and as I bring this down, I'm not sure exactly how this is framed, but you'll go from not seeing any of the top and this having a curvature up to where it'll finally get to the point where it's actually in a flat line. And then you'll begin to see the top of it and it's a downward curved line. So perspective, how, how you're, where you're seeing the, the, the part or the, the piece you're looking at, uh, that can make all the difference on how well your design looks. So I've never had an art class. I've never had any uh, art training. This is just my observations. So I may say the wrong word. I may use the wrong adverb, wrong adjective, the wrong, I don't know, but I don't always know what I'm talking about, but I know what I see. And I used to say, don't try to duplicate, emulate, or simulate anything I do on this channel. But in this instance, by all means, uh, I'm starting to get a pretty good grasp of, of light burn, and uh, I'm encouraging you to duplicate exactly what I'm doing. Uh, you are welcome to download my files, but I want you to learn how I create these so you can create your own. So let's jump into light burn and see what it takes for me to create this file. Okay, so this is the array 
of my coffee cup gift card or gift card holders with all of the different artwork that I've currently got created. And I've already provided this to my patrons on my Patreon page. So if you haven't signed up to be a patron, you might want to consider doing that. Uh, there's multiple tiers there. I don't differentiate on the benefits from any of them. Everybody gets the same benefits. So they've had this for a few days, uh, depending on when this video drops. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm actually going to go ahead and share this entire file on the video for the Lasers Makers Realm, Laser Makers Realm. So you will get the benefit uh, for free uh, on Laser Makers Realm that I've already given to the Patreon or the patrons on Patreon page. All right, but before we get into all of the artwork and all that, let's look at just the basic design and how I created it and how you can create this type of file for yourself. Be it if it's a coffee cup design or if you wanted to do a different design, uh, these are techniques that you're gonna wanna learn how to do when you're creating your design. So let's get rid of all of the stuff that's busy we're going to move this just out of the way So now we have just our basic design itself. It's just three pieces. This is the backing. This is the spacer. And this is the top piece where we do the engraving of the artwork. So how, and this is just my tool path for my wood. All right. Designing this cup It's actually pretty easy. In fact, I've learned a couple of techniques since I did the original design and we're going to design this from scratch I'm going to select my rectangle tool And I'm going to draw out just a rectangle that's kind of sort of in the Dimensions that I'm looking for I'm going to put this uh, in a line mode. It is so much easier to design in line mode than it is in fill. Alright, so the top of this is about the approximate width that I want the cup to be at its widest point. Now this is obviously way too wide and I do not want a rectangular shape. So what I'm going to do is with my selector tool selecting that rectangle, I'm going to edit. I'm going to convert that to a path and I'm going to go into my node editing and I'm gonna select this bottom node and I'm gonna count how many times I move it in using my arrows. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And I'm gonna come over here and just click this one and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That's looking close, but let's give it a couple more. One, two, three. And select this one again, one, two, three. All right, I like that. That's my basic design of the cup. Now the lid. I'm going to bring this down here. I'm going to go back to my rectangle tool. I'm going to zoom in a little tighter here. And first thing I'm going to do is when, when you look at the lid of a coffee cup or any kind of styrofoam cup, you've got the little flange where it bows out, and then you've got the little rim where it actually snaps onto the lid and a little bulge there. So there's about three ribs on your basic lid. So that's what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create my ribs. So I need to come back to this tool here, and I'm going to elongate this. That's long, really long. 
So bringing her down to about like that, that looks pretty decent. So now I'm going to hold my shift key and select the coffee cup and put it to center and make sure that's what I want. And that looks pretty good. All right, so there. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it just a wee bit bigger. I'm gonna hold my control button and just draw it out just a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna bring this up out of the way. With that selected, I'm going to do control D. I'm gonna move it up here above it. And then I'm gonna lock my aspect ratio and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna tell it to make this rib 98% of that lower rib. And I'm gonna draw it down with the center anchor point. Now, if you haven't seen anchor points, let's go back I'm going to do a real quick discussion about the anchor points. Right now, if you look, these are aligned perfectly over center. And if you have your anchor point in the wrong position, it just makes, it, you, you can accomplish the same thing. You just, it will incorporate more steps. Here I've got the anchor point in the middle left, and I tell it to draw down 98%. That there didn't move none. Everything was reduced from here. So if I undo and I put it up there and I tell it 98%, let's see all this moved over here. It drew it up and to this corner. So we want to be in the middle. and tell it 98%. Now you see there it drew it in from that side, drew it in from that side, uh, and it actually drew it down top to bottom as well because we kept the aspect ratio locked. Now I'm going to come down here, I'm gonna grab this one, and actually I'm going to use, well, let's see here, um, we're in millimeters and this is four point let's um, let's make this six millimeters not cap lock tab all right uh, I didn't mean to do that I needed to unlock my aspect ratio unlock make this six and then I'm going to select my radius where it's six millimeters so I want to do um, two millimeters on my radius. That'll give me a two millimeter radius on the top and two millimeters on the bottom and then two millimeters there on the side. All right. Now this one is, we're going to go ahead and just say four millimeters. And I'm going to give it a radius of, hmm, say, uh, 1.3. I'm going to give it a radius. I'm going to click. There we go. There. All right. Now there's two of my three ribs. Now I'm going to select this one, control D and move it up. And there's three ribs. Now I'm going to dot these right up against one another. So I'm going to select the bottom one. I'm going to use my docking tools with a padding of zero. Let's see. Why am I not? There we, there we go. Zero. Make sure your padding zero and we're going to dock it up and you'll watch that jump up. Now I'm going to take and select both of those and dock both of them up. 
and those are all sandwiched together. Now I need to put my lid on there. So I'm going to draw a rectangle. And I'm, now I'm going to get it to the size that I want. And this is all just how you see it in your, you know, what what you recall a coffee cup lid looks like. All right, now I'm going to move that whole thing up, and now I'm going to dock it. Or actually, I'm going to select the that and put it in center. And now I'll select her and dock her down. And now, what did those dimensions come out to be? It's 13, uh, we'll say 12 millimeters. And there, here's a, a, a situation where you don't want to always have your anchor in the middle. If I undo that, see how I got a gap there after I've already docked it? If I undo that, put her back to where she was, and I set my anchor point to the middle, center, bottom rather, and now I tell it 12 millimeters. So it just dropped the top. I didn't move or lose my docking. Now, that was 12 millimeters. So let's give the radius here uh, four millimeters and see what that looks like. I'm gonna get, get on there. There we go. And that looks pretty good. All right, so we're beginning to get our coffee cup lid. And actually, I'm gonna draw this up. I think it needs to be a little bit taller, about like that. All right, now with all those, I'm gonna select them all and I'm gonna do an offset. And I don't, not that one stupid, undo, offset about, uh, one millimeter, 1.5 millimeter. And we're doing an inward offset. Let's just, yeah. Uh, one millimeter. Okay. And now we're getting really close. If I put that in a fill mode, it's looking close to what I want. But I don't like how thick these lines are where these are just docked and not in the same plane. So let me show you how I fix that. First, I'm going to put her back into a line mode so I can design with her. And I'm going to select these two offsets. Actually, all that, I never did ungroup the offsets. So if you look, when I did the initial offsets, all those are grouped. So we need to ungroup them all. To where I can grab just those two and I'm gonna group those. I'm gonna group these and so on and so forth grouping the offsets together. Now that those are all grouped I'm gonna take this and I'm not gonna use my mouse I'm gonna use my arrows so I cause everything's centered right now I'm gonna arrow this up. Actually, I just hit that one time and that looks like that's about where I wanted it. That works. So now with that selected, I'm gonna hold my shift key and select that one and tell it to weld those together. Now I'm gonna select just this one and hit my up key and that works. That's, that's pure luck, ladies and gentlemen, that that's exactly where I wanted to be. Weld that together. And now with that, I'm just hit my up key and select that and weld that together. Okay. Now there, put that back in feel. There is my coffee cup lid. But we talked about perspective in the beginning. If you look here, and this will work, but this would be if you were looking directly on the, the 
at that point, that that's, that's your viewpoint is looking straight on at that lid. If you want to add perspective to this, this is how easy it is to do. Put her back in line mode. Select this. We're going to go into the node editing. Actually, we're going to have to ungroup it. There we go. Now we're in node editing. And now on every one of these lines, we're going to hover right over it and we're going to hit the letter M. And it doesn't matter where you're at on the line. See, I'm over here and I'm going to hit the letter M. M is from middle. It will insert a node in the middle of that line between the two closest nodes. All right, now that I've got all of those inserted, I'm going to hold my shift key. Do I need to hold the shift key? No, you don't have to hold shift. Just draw a rectangle around all of those nodes. I have selected all of those nodes and those nodes only. And actually, I should have done one other thing. I should have hit, in fact, I'm going to undo this just so you can see what you should have done instead of what I did do. All right. M S. M S. M S. Now, what is M S? Uh, and there it wasn't that don't work like that so undo we're learning together here all right so if you hit m that will insert in the middle but then you need to hover over that and hit the letter s and you see now we got a tangent over here and a tangent over there the way i did it just a second ago if i hit m over here it will put it in the in the, in the middle but if i hit an s here it only gives you one tangent now what that does i'm going to hit Control z and or undo We'll get rid of that and come back over here and hit hover over that and hit S. That creates that into a curve or S, a smooth line. So if I hit M, S, M, S, M, S, M, S, M, S, M, S. And two more. And I missed that one. But I can just come over here, hit S. Alright, M. And in fact, I'll show you here. If you don't have it over the node and you just hit S, you get one tangent. All you got to do is come over here and hit S again. And that gives you your second tangent. Alright, now that I've got my middle nodes and they're all curves, I can select all those. And now using my arrow keys arrow up and depending on how much you want to give you can create that curvature changing the perspective of that lip the 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 cup so now you are looking at it from a lower position than you were before. You were looking at it straight on. Now it is slightly above your focal point. All right, so we move that one up one time. And here's something, and this is important, so I'm gonna go back to undo. All right, if I put it back in node editing, you need to, in fact, you can do this all at one time. If I bring this, shift, uh, we're going to, Dock it, actually, let's, because we need to change the perspective here on the cup as well in order for it to match the lid. So if we dock that upward, and let's go ahead and give it an inward offset to match the lid, and so we're going to bring her down just a little bit and we're going to do the same thing we're going to do ms now this is where you need to hold the shift button so i'm going to uh select all of this let's 
see. Undo. Select all of that. Put it in node editing. Select all of that. I didn't have to hold the shift. All right, now I have the lid selected and I have the cup selected. So now when I arrow up one time, it all moves together and stays uniform. Okay. That works. Now for the bottom, you can choose to leave that flat or if you want it to look like you're holding the cup slightly uh, above you, you can, you know, you can actually move these up. I choose to take mine slightly downward, so I'm going to hold that and, hold, and go into node editing, go middle, S, middle, S, and now hold my shift key and select bottom one. Now grab both of those and arrow down one and okay so that wasn't much but that is just enough to give it some character uh, here this one's got a little bit more uh, curvature on both top and bottom and it is all about what you want what your your, your style your design is what you what you want to see all right but at this point we've pretty much got the coffee cup itself designed so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select this whole coffee cup. I'm going to create another offset. This time we're going to go outward and we want it to be round. And actually, no, we're not going to select the whole thing. We're going to select just this one. And actually, we need to dock that up for right now. Let's select them both. Dock it. That'll put it against it. And now we're going to take her up and overlap it just like we did the lid a second ago. So now arrow up one. And that's awful close. Let's see what happens when we group those. Select that and weld. That'll work. All right, so now I'm going to select just that. We're going to ungroup it and select just that. Now we've got just the outermost perimeter, and we're going to do an offset of that outward, and we're going to give it two millimeters. Okay, now we'll select that and put it on our cut path and that is a cutout of the actual cup now there's a couple things we need we need the sleeve of the coffee cup and we need the spacer for the coffee cup and if you notice what I've done here if we put this in fill mode and you can you can leave this where this this is going to be the sleeve which is going to come over here and so it's going to cover a lot of those engraved lines there so you can delete those as i've done here to save time on the laser if it's not there it's just white space get through it and uh you'll cut down on your engraving time and i'll show you how i do that too so in order to create the sleeve what i do is i draw another rectangle now the sleeve is going to uh, and do I want to do I want to have my outline there already there I've got yeah I want to actually I want to go ahead I did the my cut line premature so I'm actually going to get rid of the cut line delete that all right I'm going to create my sleeve first I'm going to come up here and say my sleeve is going to be about here and about like so select it I need to convert it to a path so I can edit the nodes and position her where I think I want her to be all 
All right, now I'm going to go into node editing and I'm gonna zoom in really tight here. I'm gonna select that node and I'm gonna use my arrow keys so as I don't get everything out of square. And I'm gonna arrow that in and use my control arrow now and bring it back out to what's right on the line there. And now I'm going to use my plain arrow one um, and a half. That was shift arrow. All right, so now I'm gonna come up here to this node select it and that was one and a half this one one half Tight. There we go. One and a half. All right. So there, that coffee sleeve is equal distance beyond the perimeter of the cup, and it is need. It does need to be on a cut path, so that's fine that it's on that cut path there. That is the actual sleeve itself. And we're going to keep that. So I'm going to duplicate it. Control D. Move it over here. Oh, not just that node. Undo. Undo. Select tool. There we go. Now, move that. There's my sleeve. I need to put this uh, fill layer back into line mode. Line mode. There we go. Now I need to select the size of the sleeve plus the outer and we're going to weld that together. So now that fits right over that. Is that going to work like I want or two? Oh. No, that won't work. I need to have, yeah, that'll work, that'll work, that'll work, that'll work. I just need to make, go ahead and make, no, that won't work. I need to undo. First, I need to select that. I'm gonna do an offset of that. One millimeter. And I'm going to select the resulting. There we go. So that plus that and weld that together. That'll work. Now put that on a cut path. Now is that still going to be... Yeah, that'll work. All right, so now I need two more things to do. I need to create my spacer for to sit between the sleeve of the cup and the cup itself so that the card will fit in behind the sleeve and then eliminate this part of the... Uh, in fact, let's do that real quick. Since I've got the sleeve in position, I should be able to come right here, select that, go into node editing. Why is it not? Okay, there it is. All right, there's, we're in node editing. Now, if I hit T, no, it's not going to let me do that. All right. So if I come down here and hit, hit I for intersection or insert, it's going to put a node there. And if I come up, and actually I can go ahead and hit, or let's see if I have to. Uh, I always forget some of these things. So I, so now I've inserted a node there where that intersection is at. Now if I come in here and hit T, nope, didn't work. So hit the letter B for break. 
now come here and hit the letter B for break. Now select just that one and hit delete. I'm going to do the same thing here. I want I, B, insert and break. I'm going to come down here, insert and break. And now I can select that one and hit the delete button. I, B. I'm going to select, there we go, I, B. IB 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 and now delete button delete button all right now those are trimmed but they are now open shapes so if I select that move it out of the way Select double alt, select my pencil, get my crosshairs, draw over, crosshairs, left click to stop. Or right click, I should say to stop. I don't know my left from my right, folks. I never have. And start, start. All right, now, if those got connected, if I go to fill mode, which you see there, it's still open. Those are open. So they did not connect. So what do you do? You have to grab those nodes and connect them. Put them back in line mode. Actually, you know what? You can leave this in fill mode, and that's how you know when you actually got them connected. So leave that in fill mode. Grab, go into node editing. Select it. If you grab this node, snap that. Snap that. Now those are chasing each other, so you know you got those connected. Now they're chasing, those are connected, but it's still open, so let's come over here. But now you can see that it, these two are what's the issue, so snap, there we go. Now it's closed. Same thing here. I'm gonna grab this one. Those got connected. And now that's closed. And this needed to be on the cut path. All right, so now we've got our cup, our sleeve, the offset for our cuts. Now we just need to create our spacer. In order to do that, I'm going to do an inward offset of four millimeters and say okay I am going to duplicate this move it out of the way because that is the sleeve and we want to keep it here I need to arrange and actually you know I'm not going to do that I'm just going to do break I started to break it all apart but Note editing, just hit the letter B there and hover over and hit the B. Now select that and hit the delete button. Here I'm going to, actually I'm going to take this one and I'm just going to draw it up here. I don't have to worry about it being exactly parallel here because this is just the sleeve. It's going to be hidden and out of sight, so if it's not exactly parallel, it doesn't matter. But now we need to 
IB for insert and break. And that should give us just, well, it didn't do there. All right, well now let's come over here, insert and break, IB. Now, there we go, delete that. Now we need to connect these. That's connected now. That's connected. And there we go. There's our sleeve. Or our spacer for our sleeve. So there. We just created that basic design from scratch. You've seen those techniques. How I used the node editing to uh, create perspective. Uh, hopefully this is something you can use on different creations of your own. Hopefully you found this informative. As I said, I will be giving away this entire file. I'm go ahead and all that work. Delete. Goodbye. I'm going to give away this entire file, this artwork, plus the artwork I have here. And let me show you how this is set up and so you can make sure you get it right when you go to use your uh, free file from Laser Makers Realm. Actually, let me just open up a new one here. Start with a fresh screen. All right, so when you import it, this will be what you see. Oh, didn't want to do that. I want to grab all of that. Bring her to the middle of the page there. All right, I have this array laid out in a way that it will fit on a 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter piece of prepped wood, ready to go. You can get three pieces out of it. The way the artwork needs to be set up if you'll notice, two of them are upright, one of them is inverted. And I'm telling you this because you will forget to do it. How do I know? Because I've designed it and I forget to do it. So you don't have to mess with the have a, this, unless you just want to get rid of it, have a coffee on me. It's on the bottom, underneath the sleeve. But whenever you're setting up your artwork, you got to remember this middle one is upside down. We need to get rid of one of each of those. So if you're bringing in one of these, you can just grab one, select it, and then hold your shift key, select the sleeve, and tell it to center it. Then hit control D, duplicate it. Same thing, center it. One more time, hit control D. And then you can use your uh, less than button twice. That rotates it counterclockwise. Select that and hit center. Now that is laid out correctly and ready to engrave. Now, this is going to use up most of this wood. There is one small piece right down here. This goes, this is your sleeve, I mean, your spacer for your sleeve. So all of this right here will be wasted wood unless. You have a small project that you can go to your library that uh, you have that you know will work and it will work with the material you're using. In this case, I'll grab uh, a pair of earrings, add this to the project. These are my sunflower earrings that will work great on this material. Duplicate that, bring it down here. Duplicate that pair, move it over. Duplicate that, move it over. So now, and, and I actually, if I really wanted to or needed to, I could get several more earrings in there and really get the most out of this wood. So, and it's easier to do this now than it is to try and come back and utilize this small pieces after the fact. You can. But right now it's in fixed position. And so look there, I can get an, a whole nother set out of here or two, uh, n at least another set. So look at your material as you're burning and engraving it. And I could probably even nest these and get them, get another
In fact, oh, use your docking tools. Right now, I've got the padding at zero. Let's put the padding at one. This will be one millimeter. And I'm going to dock this one up. Oh. Now my light burn is crashing. Oh, there we go. And... Well, boys and girls, you see here, I've got not respond. There we go. I got something. There we go. Something crazy going on with my graphics card. All right. So there's, and now I'm going to dock it to the right. And... I don't know what's happening. I got too much going on with my computer here. We're just going to move this one over here. No. I'll see if I can get five in there. But you see what I'm talking about. You Use this opportunity to, to not let this material go to waste. And it's easier to put it in there now than it is to do it and try and use that small little bit of scraps after the fact. So know that, that with this design, you've got those little pieces of material that you can use to create another small project and uh, really get the most out of your material. So at this point, we're going to wrap this video up. I'm going to thank you for hanging around and watching to this point. Uh, again, I sell these for $5 a piece. That's $15 in, in sales, and I've got $1.50 to $2 in the board. So it's quick, easy money, and you can make these for any occasion, for any situation. This file will be available for free on LaserMaker's Realm. Uh, the entire file, including all of my artwork. And it is free. And I encourage you to make these. Go make tons of money. And then, like I say, if you do make tons of money and you want to slide me a little something, something, my feelings aren't hurt. If you appreciate these files and you appreciate these... Uh, demonstrations consider becoming a, a patron on patreon uh, the the patrons have had this file now for for a few days or longer depending on when you see this video uh, and they get it ahead of time I don't normally share this much on laser makers realm but I'm going to go ahead and give this whole file for free normally I do just the 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 coffee cup and then you'd have to do your own own layouts and of the artwork which isn't that big of a deal on this one. But typically, when I do a file on Laser Maker's Realm, there'll be two or three additional files that go to the patrons at the same time. So consider signing up at patreon.com slash hobo with wood. It would help me out immensely. If you notice, I've been doing a lot of how-tos and not of, hey, look what I did. Because uh, right now, things are getting a little sparse in the inventory department, and so I can use as much help as I can get. So sign up at Patreon. I'd appreciate it. If you don't want to do that, just hit the super thanks and let me know how much you appreciate the videos. Patreon.com slash Hobo with Wood. YouTube.com slash At the Laser Makers Round. And until the next video, I'm Steve, Hobo with Wood, and I'm out.